Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got this rectangle PQRS such that a semicircle whose center is O is inscribed inside this rectangle as you can see in this diagram such that A and B are the points of tangency and furthermore this distance CR is 3 units and this distance PD is 6 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this shaded semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's assume that the radius of this semicircle be lowercase r. This is radius r and this is radius r as well. And moreover, this distance OA and this distance OB is going to be radius r as well. And now let's go ahead and extend this line OB all the way over here to some point E over here and moreover let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point C over here onto this some point F over here and here's our much nicer looking diagram and furthermore we know that this distance is 3 units and since we are dealing with the rectangle so then this distance FB is going to be 3 units as well. And furthermore we know that this whole distance is radius R. So therefore this distance OF is going to be R minus 3. So this is going to become R minus 3. So therefore we conclude that this length OF is R minus 3 and one more thing this whole OA distance is radius R therefore this distance PE is going to be radius R as well and now we know that this distance PD is 6 units therefore this distance DE is going to be R minus 6 so therefore our this length DE turns out to be R minus 6. And now let's focus on these two right triangles OCF and this one OED. And we conclude that these two right triangles OFC and this other right triangle OED are congruent triangles according to angle side angle postulate because this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well and these two angles are vertical angles so they are going to be congruent and moreover this is radius R and this is radius R as well. So therefore this side length ED is going to be equal to this side length CF and since this is R minus 6 that length has got to be R minus 6 as well. Therefore our this length CF turns out to be R minus 6. Now in this next step let's focus on this triangle OFC. And since this is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And let's go ahead and focus on our this triangle. This longest leg is going to be our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side is going to be b. So let's go ahead and apply this uh, Pythagorean formula. So this is going to be R minus 3 square plus R minus 6 square equal to R square. And now we are going to use this A minus B square formula to expand these two binomials. So let's take care of that the first binomial. So that is going to give us R square minus uh, 
6r plus 3 square is going to be 9 plus likewise we are going to use this formula for this uh, second binomial as well so that is going to become r square minus 12 r plus 6 square is going to be 36 equals to r square and here we can see that this r square cancels out with this r square let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we're going to have r square and then minus 18 r plus 9 and 36 is going to become 45 equals to 0 and now we can see that this is a quadratic equation so are we are going to solve it by factoring technique so we can see that the possible factors for 45 is going to be 3 and 15 and if we add them we are going to get 18 indeed so therefore our possible factors are r minus 3 and r minus 15 equals to 0 let's go ahead and split them so r minus 3 equal to 0 and r minus 15 equal to 0 as well so therefore our r value turns out to be one of them is 3 the other value is 15 and now we can see that r equal to 3 value is not gonna work because if we plug it in over here so r minus 6 is going to give us a negative 3 length but length cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject this r equal to 3 value and we are going to accept r equal to 15 value and here's our final step we figured out our radius r is 15 so we are going to calculate the area of this shaded semicircle and here's the area of a circle formula pi r square since we are dealing with the semicircle so this is going to become divided by 2 so therefore the area is going to be pi r square divided by 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so area is going to be pi r is 15 square divided by 2 so area is going to be 225 pi over 2 so thus the area of this shaded semicircle turns out to be 225 pi divided by 2 square units or if we replace this pi by approximately equal to 3.14 then our area is going to be approximately equal to 300 53.3 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye